Right, welcome back everybody. It's Bank Holiday Monday. Yesterday and today I've been unpacking and packing my kit. And um, you can probably see a bit of it behind me. I'll spin the camera around in a minute and show you. Um, we're in this pub slash YouTube studio slash storage, where you want to call it, garage. Um, so yeah, I've been packing my stuff and I pack all my stuff into hard boxes. So, so when we go, you can chuck all my kit in the bottom and then whoever you're going with can chuck it on top. So the, the, the hard boxes just stop your kit getting sort of uh, damaged when you've got all the weight on top of it. And it just makes it a bit easy for packing. But anyway, that's, that's the boring bit. And that's what I've been doing. While I was doing that, I realized, because I had to get my lead saw, obviously three ounce leads over there is going to be no good. As you saw, the eights and tens I'm taking. So I was sorting them out. I thought I hadn't done the lead competition. So this is what we're doing now. Now, I was shocked at how many people had a guess, probably because it's quite an easy thing to have a go at, you know, like how many sweets are in a jar, how many, I don't know, whatever the people do. But we did leads because obviously it was for carp fishing. So I chucked all those leads on a bivy table and you could guess. I understand it was, but it, it's anybody's, anybody could have won it because it was just pick three numbers and, and, and sent email as simple as that. A lot of you did. I'm going to read out the results in a minute from 10th down to first and you'll you'll see why in in a minute it makes makes quite interesting reading but anyway so um th this is the what the winner will get is a custom mug my camo on the background what i designed my logo and then buzz tackles uh leds logo who uh lee, can't, lee from buzz tackle leds kindly is helping me out with leds and i'm helping him out with a bit of um advertising so anyway, uh, I've done one of them for the the winner will get notified and I will send you an option. You've got a choice of 12 different color paracorded handles. I'll also chuck you one of my tail holders in and also a few stickers. So that's that. I've done one for Lee as well and I'm going to send that off to him. And um, strangely, I, I, strangely, the paracords, I've got 12 paracords. Now there's one that never gets picked. So I did a mug of mine in it. And the last two people have picked the same colour paracord, which is strange, really, because but I'm going off track here anyway. But yeah, so you'll get the choice of paracord. So um, the competition will be finished from today, so there'll be no more. But I'm definitely going to do some more like this because it's easy for people to enter. And so, yeah, we'll do that going forward. But what I'll do now is I will read down from 10th down to first. Now, when I said you had to get the closest, it didn't matter, it didn't have to be sort of like to a certain number or below, it could be the closest to that number. So if this was the number, you could be here or here. So that's why you'll see some of them are over and some of them are under, but it was the closest one to it. Now, only one person got it bang on and she cheated. So she's been just, um, eliminated, disqualified, whatever you want to call it. So you know who you are, no more cheating. And so it's got to be fair, and this is the way it's been done. Right, so what we'll do is we'll do the list now. So, like I said, it makes quite good reading. So, in 10th place was Karina Warren with 164. 9th was Gareth Wright, 167. 8th was Sarah Rochester, 170. In 7th, David Williams, 221. Lee Davis is in 6th with 217. If that's the Lee Davis I think it is, I don't know what he'd have done with leads because he doesn't carp fish, but it, I might be wrong. It might be another Lee Davis. But anyway, in 5th was Gareth Wright again with 178. So there he goes. So he was in ninth and 5th, so he was close. Aid Rowley was in 4th with 180. In 3rd was Aid Rowley as well with 210. So as you can see there, he had 3rd and 4th place, so he was close as well. Like I said, makes interesting reading. In 2nd was Karina Warren with 209. And again, she was in 10th, so she had 2nd and 10th. But in 1st place with 191, was actually Karina Warren, sorry, Karina Warren. And so she, she, all three of her guesses made the top 10. She had a 191 and the total was 197. 
So well done to her. I'll contact you or you contact me and we'll get that sorted out. But I feel really, Aid Rarely was so close with being third and fourth. I'm, I was only going to do like a first place. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to send you a sticker pack. I'll get in contact with you and send you sort of uh, 10 of my custom stickers or something like that. I feel coming third and fourth, realistically, you are second in a way because obviously Karina was had first sent. But, but anyway, I feel I should send you some stickers away because you you got so close. So that's what we're, where we're at with that. I'll get in contact with everybody. Let's chuck them down there. Chuck the mug over there. Got a few more competitions coming up in Romania. I think we've got one, two, three. I think there's probably going to be four chances to win on that one. I'm not 100% what you're going to win yet. There'll definitely be some mugs up for, up for grabs and some stickers. I'm tr there might be some other stuff. But anyway, I'll let you know more. If you follow the journey on Facebook or on the YouTube, YouTube channel, um, you'll see as we go. I will put probably some of the comp couple of competitions on Facebook and a couple as we're going. Cause I'm going to do sort of updates. Not I wouldn't say possibly daily but anyway there'll be a, probably a couple of competitions on facebook and there'll be a couple on youtube so that's where we are we're up to date um i'll just spin the camera around and have you can see what i mean about here's all the kit look it's just chucked here at the minute so yeah that's some of it. There's some in the van. So I'm waiting for a gas fridge to turn up. Ordered a gas fridge, waited three weeks and they let me down. So um, I'm now ordered another one, got a refund and waiting for that to turn up. So that's where we're at. Uh, well done to everybody who won. Well, the two that won. Thanks to everybody who entered. And like I said, keep watching and there will be a few more competitions in the future. Cheers.